Hey everyone and welcome back to the how to make a 3D customization menu in Unity series. I'm Noah and in episode 6 we will be playing around with color customization. In other words, allow the player to change the color of his character's head and body. With that in mind, let's get started. So here is how our menu currently looks and what it does. We now want these colored squares to change the character's color and you'll see it's very easy to do this. So I'll just create a second script and I will call it customize color. I'll then open it up inside of my scripting editor. We will start by creating a color array called head colors. We will place in this array all the possible colors the player can choose from to customize his character. We will also make a public material variable called head mat. All that's left to do is make a public function called change head color and pass in an int variable that I'll simply name color index. We will be calling this function when we click on one of our colored squares. Okay, inside this change head color function, we will set our head mat's color to be equal to a color in our array that has an index of color index. Now, you may be a little confused right now, but don't worry, all will be clear in just a moment. So, I'll head back to Unity and add my customized color script to my customization manager game object. Inside my array, I will create three colors, taking my eyedropper tool to pick the exact same colors as on my squares. I will then drag and drop my head material in the head mat slot. Grabbing one of my squares, I will add an on-click event, drag and drop my customization manager and call the change head color function. As you can see, I am prompted to type in a number. The value I put in here will be the value of our color index variable. As you can see in my customization manager, the color of index zero is green. So we want to pass in zero for the green button. Phrased differently, when I click on this green button, I will set the color of my head's material to the color of index 0 in my array. I'll do the same for the brown button, except this time I will pass in 1, because the color of index 1 is brown. And you guessed it, I will pass in the value 2 for blue, because I want my head's material to turn blue when I click the blue button. Now if we press play and test it out, you will see that we can change the color of our character's head. Once again, just repeat the same process for the body or any other part you wish to leave the player the power to customize color. Of course, if something feels unclear to you or you're stuck, post away in the comment section down below and I will answer and try and help the fastest possible. Okay, we have technically completed our 3D customization menu. We can swap models and change the color of our character. In the last bonus video, I will show you a slightly different method of swapping our character's models using graphical buttons. I'll also bring you through the process of taking our customized character from the menu scene to the game scene, ready for play. I am of course very open to any requests and suggestions you may leave in the comments on expanding this 3D character customization menu. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to support me and my channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. It's a true motivation boost. Okay, see you very soon. Cheers!